Hey guys, we're Mia and Thomas, and we are from Portland, Oregon. Mia's originally from Hawaii, and I'm from California, and we met here after both of us moved here separately on a whim. We are buying a van together along with our one-year-old rescue scout and converting it into a tiny home on wheels. She's an unemployed personal trainer due to the pandemic and has been going to school remotely to become a dietitian. I'm a behavioral health worker and psychology student with a focus on substance abuse. I'm also a cyclist, climber, and outdoorsman, so we feel incredibly grateful to call the Pacific Northwest home. But after the year we've all had, we decided we could no longer stare at the same four walls. So we're selling everything and buying a van. Check it out, and thanks for joining us along the journey. bought a van. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> and wait, first. Wait, first. First, we decided to say, F it. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, bought a van. <laughs> so we bought a 2021 Ford Transit 148 extended wheelbase with a high roof. We pick her up in a couple of days, mm -hmm. or him, might not be a her. My parents have been full-time RVers on the road for six years now. They started off doing it for two years, rented out our house in Hawaii just in case they didn't love it. And of course they fell in love with the lifestyle and decided to sell our house back home. So they've been on the road for a really long time and our dad, our dad, <laughs> my dad, we're not brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> we swear. <laughs> we swear. Is a DIY self-taught carpenter. He's been doing landscaping, home improvement, et cetera, et cetera, forever now. We really trust him and he's going to be helping us. Uh, we are packing up all of, I say all of our stuff, but really we're selling all of our stuff. Packing up what we need. Packing up what we need. And selling Storing what we, what we don't. Selling what we don't, yeah. And taking this cutie patootie and we are moving moving to Yuma Arizona where we are doing our build in almost 100 degree heat <laughs> well the sooner we get the build done the better because the yes temperature goes up day by day yeah I never thought I'd say this but I'm really excited for Yuma Arizona <laughs> oh gosh you guys if anybody on here lives in Yuma I'm really sorry <laughs> but <laughs> we've been there once and we never thought we were going to go back, <laughs> but my parents have a huge network of friends and one of their friends is letting us park on his property. He has a one acre piece of land in Yuma next to the Fortuna Hills. He has a huge woodworking wood shop, all the tools you could possibly need. He is so generous enough to let us use it. So we don't have to buy a single tool, which is really cool. Yeah. And we're really excited for the build. You know, really change things up in life. And, and hit the road! <laughs> <laughs> and hit the road! <laughs> Scout's <Yeah>. like... is finally here and we are so excited. So the first thing that we want to do now that we are in the actual space and not just dreaming of dimensions is to tape down the layout to see if it works. 
So behind the driver and passenger seat are going to be the two sides of our kitchen. Um, it's important to consider where that kitchen counter should end behind the driver's seat so that we still have the ability to adjust the seat as needed. On the passenger side, we are now sectioning off our sink to the left and our floor to ceiling closet to the right. Behind the driver's seat is going to be our floor to ceiling slide out pantry, which we are really excited about. It's such a great use of a tiny space, which is incredibly important when you are living in 84 square feet. <laughs> so Thomas is six feet tall. So we have the option of laying the width or length of the van, but he's just making sure that he'll fit. <laughs> Uh, we decided on doing a two foot tall, slightly raised convertible dinette with a U-shaped bench. There are so many pros and cons and so many opinions when it comes to a dinette or a fixed bed, but we went with what ultimately worked for us. So we needed the bigger workspace, a place for a scout to hang out, and ultimately what did it for us was that come daytime, 50% of your living space is unusable. So. We are giving up that garage storage that comes with doing a fixed bed for upper cabinet storage and a more functional and open layout. We decided if we wanted to bring bikes or bigger gear or any of that stuff, we would get a rack. Um, and that is it for day one. Please hit that subscribe button and keep a lookout for episode one of our van build series as we are packing up and heading to our workshop in Arizona in one week. See you then.